Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Bible study. We're so glad you could join us. Tonight, we will be exploring the story of Abraham's story, faith and obedience. This story highlights Abraham's unwavering faith in God, even when faced with an unimaginable test. Before we move into tonight's lesson, let's recap our Bible study from yesterday. We discussed Jesus calms the storm, trusting God in troubled times. We learned about Jesus' love, divine authority, and his calming presence during life's challenges. We reflected on how we can trust in God's power and presence, even when we face personal struggles and uncertainties. Now let's move on to tonight's story. Abraham, a man of great faith, was tested by God in a profound way. God called Abraham to sacrifice his beloved son, Isaac, the child of promise, through whom God had said Abraham's descendants would be named. Early the next morning, Abraham set out with Isaac, two servants, and a donkey to the place God had told him about. As they journeyed, Isaac noticed they had the wood and fire, but no lamb for the sacrifice. He asked his father, The fire and wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham replied, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. They continued their journey together, and Abraham's heart must have been heavy with the weight of the test before him. After three days, they arrived at the designated place. Abraham instructed his servants to stay behind with the donkey, saying, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham had faith that somehow God would provide and that he and Isaac would return. Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar. As Abraham reached out his hand to slay his son, the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, saying, Abraham, Abraham, he replied, Here I am. The angel said, Do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God, because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies, and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed, because you have obeyed me. Genesis 22 to 18 Here's the lesson to the story. This story of Abraham and Isaac demonstrates the depth of Abraham's faith and obedience to God. Abraham trusted God's promise, even when it seemed impossible. His willingness to sacrifice Isaac showed his complete submission and trust in God's plan. God's intervention and provision of the ram illustrate that he always provides for our needs and that obedience to him brings blessings. Our Bible verse for tonight is, By faith Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Hebrews 11 or 17. Before we end, let's all pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the example of Abraham's faith and obedience. Help us to trust you completely, even when your plans seem beyond our understanding. Strengthen our faith and guide us to always obey your will. We know that you are our provider and that you have a perfect plan for our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences related to this story. How have you seen God provide in your own life?